Are you ready to learn how to make a hologram video of yourself? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also click the bell icon to stay ahead. You will find tons of hologram videos on YouTube, but today I'm going to show you how to make your own personal hologram video. Further wasting any more time, let's start. So first thing first, we need to make a prism to get the effect. I used some empty packaging materials. You can use CD cover or glass, basically anything handy. To get a perfect dimension, I'm tracing the trapezoid on a hard paper. I'm gonna make two different sizes. For the first one, the base would be 2.4 inches. The perpendicular distance would be 1.4 inches and top side would be 0.4 inches. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and trace it on the clear plastic I have. I'm gonna make four pieces and I will make the prism by attaching them with a clear tape. It is going to be a smaller prism. I just wanted to check which dimension is better in real world. For the second one, the base would be 12 cm, the perpendicular distance would be 7 cm and the top part would be 2 cm. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger prism with the same technique. Let's see which one is better. To make your own video, you need to wear some black top, preferably high neck and a black background. I don't have any personal photographer so I took a selfie video. Then I opened the video in iMovie and cropped it the way I wanted. The whole thing can be done in other software too. I am just sharing what I did in iMovie. Then clicked on color correction and tried to make the background pure black. Also gave a filter effect to make it smoother. To adjust the audio, I clicked on clip filter and audio effects and selected small room effect. Then increased the volume to maximum. After that went to noise reduction and equalizer and selected voice enhance. When I was satisfied with the editing, I just saved it as a movie file. Then I opened PowerPoint and clicked on new slide. Selected a black slide and deleted the previous one. Then go to design and select black for this project. Now go to file finder and drag the video on the black slide. Here in PowerPoint you can overlap multiple videos in one slide which is great. Now press and hold shift and shrink the video to your desired size. Then go to video format and click on crop. Now you need to crop as much as you can. Now go to insert and click the down arrow in shape. Then go to equation shape and select cross. Once you get the cross, try to center it and this will be your guideline. You can readjust the size too. Your video can overlap with the cross and that's okay at this point. Once you are done, select the video, go to home, click on down arrow of copy and hit the duplicate button. You are gonna have to repeat this tape for 3 times and every time the photos need to be shifted 90 degrees. So the first one would be 90 degrees, then 180 degrees and the last one would be 270 degrees. You can arrange them manually like how I did or just click on arrange in home section and select align. When the whole alignment thing is done, just delete the cross we initially placed. 
I wanted my video to start with zoom in and exit with blinds effect so I first selected all four videos and then clicked on basic zoom in animation section then reselected the videos and clicked on play after that selected them again and clicked on blinds in exit effects basically this is it you can click on play all button and check if everything is working the way you want it now i opened quick time player app and recorded the screen you can directly save the mp4 file from powerpoint just go to file then export and um, create video and select mp4 somehow my powerpoint is not giving me that option that's why i needed to follow longer process this is it it's pretty easy and you can make your own hologram video for the dinosaur video i just looked for an animated gif when i found it i saved it After that I followed exact steps like the previous one and my video is ready to display. By the way the bigger prism is the winner. Don't go for the smaller one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you really like this tutorial and if you did don't forget to hit that like and share button and also comment below and let me know how you think about it. I'm coming every week with my new videos so stay tuned and till then stay well. Bye.